Hello everyone, welcome to Joyroot. This is the fourth video in our Azure Backup Tutorial series. In our previous videos, we have learned how to configure the Azure VM Backup, restore the VM from the Azure Backup, and how we can recover a particular file or a folder from VM Backup. So all this we have seen in our previous videos. If you have not watched, I can add all the link of these videos in the description. Please do watch before watching this video. All right, one more thing. If you are watching this channel for the first time, I request you to please subscribe and support me. If you have any questions or suggestions, please mark it in the comment section. So in this particular video, we learn about how to configure the backup report. I have already configured it so that I could show you each module with some data. But don't worry, I can show you each step to configure the backup report. So first of all, let us go to the recovery service vault. This is our particular recovery service vault which we have created. I am selecting that. Let me minimize this. So you, here if you come down under manage, we have a backup report. So let me click on that. So if I select the log analytics, which I have already created, in the top we have uh, some menus here like uh, summary, backup instance, usage, jobs, Policies, optimize, policy adherence, and email report. So let me click on summary. We get an overall summary of the Azure backup here. So key parameters by the backup solution is backup instance one. That means only one virtual machine is taking the backup. Backing up only one particular virtual machine. Um, and the cloud storage, it is 23.98 GB. Job created, it is 16 job created. And it is giving an overall summary about our backup. Backup instance details is provided here. How many are protected? How many protections stopped? Initial backup pending, up updating protection, all those details are here. Fine. Usage, it will provide you the storage utilization report, like how much uh, storage space has been used, utilized. As I have selected only the local redundant, it provides me the local redundant storage uh, details. In the production environment, normally we select either zonal or geo redundant storage. So it provides the data related to that here about the usage tab. Then jobs, policies, policies while creating the report, we have we have created a policy and allocated that. So all that we can you could see in my first video. So it just shows which policy is working and uh, all those details here and email report this is the one which i have to show you it will provide you uh, the backup report via gmail so how you can configure i will show you uh, i will show you in this particular video how you can configure the email report your id i have already done it here so we will configure one more and i will show you that so let's start from the very beginning we'll get into the get started so to get the backup report so to get the backup report, the first step is to create the log analytic workspace. So let us create one. Create the log analytics workspace. You can go here and just search for log analytics. So it provides the log analytic workspace. I have already created one. You can create an extra one here by on clicking on create. Provide your subscription. Under which resource do we want this log analytic workspace? You can give it here. You name it region, next tag it, and review and create. So, in this way, you can create the log analytic workspace. So, this is the first step to uh, configure the backup report. So, you can do it. As you can see in my log analytic workspace, I have already created one in the name of for backup report. And you could study, you could see the data here. So this is the way how you can create the log analytic workspace. After creating the log analytic workspace, let's go back to the recovery service vault. Let me select my particular recovery service vault. Under monitoring, you have diagnostics settings. You can select this. And you can re-add a diagnosis settings. So I have already added here. What you can do, you can add one more. And if you are uh, all, if you want only the backup report, you can you have to select core, add on, add on, and till here. Site recovery jobs and all these details are not required. Health, you can take it. So 
sent to where you have to send these uh, details sent to log analytics workspace so here it provides some details you need to create a separate diagnosis setting for Azure backup or an Azure site recovery even to prevent potential data loose so you cannot select all the all these tabs here you have to you need to create a separate diagnosis settings for Azure backup and Azure site recovery events to prevent potential data loss keep that in mind while creating it and just give a name here and save it so you could see i have already created one and saved it that in the name of backup report diagnostic if you go to the editing edit setting you could see what all things i have selected here uh, the first two one is not required all these are required and azure site recovery you'll have to create separately because due to prevent the potential of data loss all right so this is the second step now if you come back and backup report you can select your particular log analytic workspace here and it will start showing the data so it will start showing the data here all right here you can select the subscription uh, i have selected all and select the workspace like log analytic workspace so i have selected the one and time range you can select it for 14 days 28 days 30 days 60 days and you can customize it and you can uh, backup solution subscription name so all those details are provided here and according to this you will start getting the data here so anyway uh, we are getting all this data here now the next step what we have to do it email report so let me click on email report here we have to configure see our manager or our manager or our client will be asking us to provide the backup report either on weekly or monthly basis so to provide the backup report we can automate the backup report via email so we can instead of uh, manually taking this report and sending to the customer what you can do you can email you can email them you can automate it through email report so let's see how we can do that for that you have to create a new task i have already created one and it is working fine so we will uh, create a new task here and i'm giving the name as backup task 2 no backup report 2 and task subscription let me select the subscription here task resource group let me select the proper resource group location mine it is west europe so where is west europe yeah all right so email frequency how you required you want it on daily basis or in the monthly basis or weekly basis so customer most probably they will be asking on monthly basis or weekly basis so you can set it accordingly so let this be on weekly basis email id <coughs> let me provide my personal email id and production environment we officially give the you can give the customer email id here or you can give your own mail id and you can forward that mail to the customer whatever so uh, as it's a test environment and providing my personal mail id is jojopal.t at all right email subject i keep it as backup report weekly that's fine now it says some authorized connection is required so i'm going to submit this let me submit this so it says then it you will have to deploy a logic app template first all right so in order to configure the email report you'll have to deploy a logic app template so once if you confirm it system itself will create the logic app and all the settings will be done by the system itself by default but uh, why we require this uh, logic app we need lo uh, logic app for the office 65 api integration for the office 365 api integration we required the logic app so only through the logic app the email will be triggered to your 
uh, organization mail id so uh, the only thing what you have to do you have to confirm it so system itself will create the deploy the logic app and after creating the logic after system deploying the logic app the last step is to provide the authentication you will have to provide the authentication from your side uh, to trigger the email so we will i will just show you that so here you will have to confirm it as i have already done all these steps i am just uh, cancelling this and i am going directly back to the logic app here you could see this is the logic app that has been uh, created by default while i configured that so i am clicking on that if you go back to the overview by default if you check the overview it will be failed as the authentication was not success it will always show failed uh, run history will be failed as uh, it has to be authentic api connection authentication is, is required to that so what you have to do you have to come under the development tool and the api connection and you have to select best europe your office 365 as this is your um, as west europe is my region it shows as west europe to office 365 select this and yeah here they will ask you to authorize it api connection it will ask you to authorize so here if you click it it will ask for your credentials and so if you, when you click it it asks for your credentials and mfa so you provide those details and authorize it so it's uh, after that it will start triggering the mail so this is the way how you can configure the backup report and generate email email report